So today I'll be doing a video discussing Jean versus Hisoka and who would win in this one-on-one -on -one battle and why these two will be fighting on the dark continent. Now, we know that both Jean and Ahsoka, they have major roles when it comes to Gon's development. I mean, we know that Jean, he was Gon's goal for the whole first half of the series. And the reason why I'm calling it the first half of the series is because we have only been on the human world world of the Hunter X Hunter world. We haven't been to the spooky dark continent world yet. So that was only the first half, the first half of the series, if you will. And we saw that Jean, he was the main thing that Gon was chasing. We saw all the adversity that Gon had to go through just in order to reach Jean. So that alone goes to show you that Jean, he played a huge role in Gon's development. But we do know that Hisoka, he was Gon's biggest antagonist for the first half of the series i'm not going to call him a villain because ahsoka we saw that obviously early on he looked like he was going to be evil but there was moments in the series when ahsoka did help them out and i mean helped him out big time so it is safe to say that ahsoka he isn't necessarily a villain but at the same time it has been confirmed that he wants to kill god at the end of the series when he's at full power so it is safe to say that he is going to be god's biggest obstacle and we've seen how much he's changed gone we saw at the beginning of the hunter exam how much he taught him about being a hunter and stuff so that alone goes to show you that both jing and hasoka they probably do have the biggest impact on gone's development as a character and these two fighting this could severely impact gone once he finds out the outcome of these two's battle and we even seen in the series that Jing versus Ahsoka has been hinted at. Yes, Jing versus Ahsoka has been hinted at because Ahsoka, he says that he has a list of people who he wants to fight. And we see that Jing is on that list. And that is crazy to think because we know that Gon is basically Ahsoka's biggest prey. But the fact that he's going after his pops too, that goes to show you that Ahsoka really is fearless. But in all seriousness, we see that Ahsoka, this just goes to show you how much he's confident in his abilities because we know that he basically ranks everybody on a power scaling from like 1 to 100 and the fact that he has Jing on that list goes to show you that he thinks that he is stronger than Jing himself even though that may not be true the fact that he is confident in his own power goes to show you that he will attack Jing if he has to and we see that Jing he's even shown that he is worried for Gon's safety in fact that is why he will not allow him to travel with him to the dark continent and once he does figure out about Ahsoka's goal of wanting to kill Gon, I do think that Jing will step in and he will put it into that goal. And I know you guys must be thinking, okay, Phantom Man, but who do you think will win in a battle between these two, between these two monsters of Hasoka and Jing? Now, I will say that Hasoka's track record, it does look a little bit shakier compared to Jing's because we know that Hasoka, he did recently lose to Krolo. Even though Krolo is a top tier character, that's nobody you should be ashamed of losing to. And L is still an L. So we do know that Hasoka, him losing to Krolo goes to show you that he's not as strong as he did hype himself up to be even though he is crazy strong because we've seen he dealt with characters like castro easily in fact he actually did beat castro twice because we know that he basically beat him the first time and introduced him to nen and saw that he had potential and then he killed him the second time so he's basically trying to give gone that castro treatment so that goes to show you that hasoka he still is a monster and we know that he's killed multiple phantom troop members so he is definitely not somebody who you can play against we know that he killed the previous number four and he also disposed of shalnark and cortopi a little spoiler alert but if you haven't heard about that then you just been living underneath the rock at this point but no in all seriousness we do know that he has had huge success going against phantom troop members and after his battle with Krolo, we know that he has gained a new Nen ability. So with the bungee gum and all that stuff, he now has new Nen attacks that can actually make him a lot strong. But we also do know that Jing is known as a top five 
net user and these are not coming from my words no 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 these are coming from netro himself so that just goes to show you how strong jing is the fact that netro said he's a top five net user goes to show you that he's official and he was a zodiac member himself so that is even more icing on the cake but we also do know that he defeated multiple specialists by himself and that was one of the most craziest things to see now he didn't defeat them in combat all all by himself no 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 but he basically went in there showed them the difference in power between their ability and everybody basically agreed that jig was way better than all the specialists in the room so that right there goes to show you that he just defeated all the specialists he defeated all of their wills and he basically made them bow down to it he showed them who was the top dog and the crazy thing is that we haven't even seen Jing's abilities so just like how Hisoka has some hidden abilities we know that Jing pretty much his whole men category is hidden and that's what these two both had in common and I personally think that if these two did get into a battle Jing would win and I do think that these two will end up fighting on the dark continent just because like I said Hisoka he has been saving his new men abilities that he has gotten after death and I do believe that he will reveal those new abilities versus Jing and what better way would it have Jing reveal his abilities would it to be versus Ahsoka and I do think that Jing versus Ahsoka even though Jing would end up beating him it would still be high diff yes I believe it will be similar to how Krolo did versus Ahsoka whereas it would take Jing a lot of effort in order to take down Ahsoka because Ahsoka he's one of the characters whereas he's not I don't want to say like he's the strongest strongest but he's like right there there, whereas he could give the strongest person a run for their money but he would still end up losing i do think that would be the situation how it is with him and jing but overall who do you think will win in a battle between jing versus ahsoka the final fight to protect gone and to make sure that he gets out of there alive oh man i just think that would be dope but overall what do you guys think about jing versus ahsoka comment what you guys see down below subscribe if you haven't peace out